Hi, in this video I would like to introduce you the barometer sensor. The barometer sensor, also called the BMP180, is barometer as well as temperature sensor combined in one microchip, which we can see right here. Now, the barometer sensor has four pins. If we turn it around, we can see one, two, three, four. And right here, we can see the instructions of the pins. The first is SCL, the second one is SDA, then we have VCC, and then we have GND. The SCL and SDA are using the I2C protocol, not like the GPIO, which you might be very familiar with. The SDA and SCL are two wire protocol, which means one we use for input and one we use for output from the sensor. Now, the, you might be asking what is the barometer sensor useful for? It's useful for many, many applications, especially if you want to calculate the height. We can estimate the height of the building or specific floor using the air pressure. Now, once we understand how the barometric sensor works, let's try to go into our microcontroller and see how we connect it and start using and doing applications using it. Now, after we understand how the sensor works, it's time to explain how does it connect to the Arduino Uno and how the pins are initialized with the Arduino Uno device. Now, let's take a closer look at the Arduino Uno device right here. As we remember, let's remind ourselves that the sensor have four pins. One is VCC, one is GND, another one is SCL and SDA. Those pins are I2C pins. Now, if we take a closer look into the board right here, we can see that the, the pins that SC, SDL and SCL are connected to A5 and A4, the analog pins, right here. And then we have the GND and VCC right here. The VCC is connected to 5 volt and the GND is connected to GND, just like that. It's very, very simple and straightforward. Now, once we have the Arduino Uno connected and everything else in place, it's time, oops, let's see, the wire ran away from here that's connected back. It's very easy, just like that, yeah. So, once we have everything connected, we can see the LED light, light right here. It means that the sensor is connected and everything is ready to go. Now, once we have that, it's time to go to our Arduino IDE and try to get everything started. Now, as we can see, we have the Arduino Uno device right here and the, BB con and the BMP180 device connected directly to the Arduino Uno device. Now, as we said, the BMP is connected through I2C pins as well as GND and VCC. Now, let's take a look at the code that we have right here, the BMP180 code. First, we import the BMP180 library and the wire library. The wire library is used to communicate with the sensor through the I2C protocol. Then we initiate the BMP180 library with the variable pressure. And then we have loop called setup. In the setup loop, we basically initialize the entire software. So first, we make sure to initialize the sensor, as well as printing that BMP unit success once the pressure is successfully initialized. If something went wrong, we will print that BMP180 unit failed and then we will pause until the problem get fixed, which will require a manual restart. Then we have the main loop. In the main loop, we get the temperature, and then if the status is okay, means there is no problem, we will print the temperature as well in degrees, both Celsius and Fahrenheit, as well as print the air pressure. Now, as you can see right here, we print the air pressure. Now, you might be wondering why there is so many status fail, like status not equal to zero, which means if status is not zero, then it, it's okay. If it's equal to zero, it's not okay. If we go a little lower, we will see that each if statement with a status has an else statement. The else statement will let us know what's the problem if we cannot, if we get a status that equal to zero. So, for example, we have error retrieving pressure measurement or error starting pressure measurement or for example, error retrieving temperature measurement. This is different errors that will help us debug the problem in case of anything goes wrong. Then most importantly, we wait one second before we continue on all over again and restarting the software. Now, let's upload the program and see if we can get it to work on our Arduino Uno device. It says uploading, done uploading, and great. Here we can see the temperature and the pressure printing into the console line right here. 
Now let's try to touch the sensor and see if it will change the temperature. It should, yes, the temperature increased 26, 80, 27, right. And if we leave the sensor, the temperature will decrease back here. 25 goes down to 24, I believe, yes. Now, after we understand how the sensor operates, it's time to understand how to connect it into a Raspberry Pi. First, let's take a look at the sensor once again. And let's remember that the sensor have four pins. One is SCL, one is SDA, VCC and GND. SCL and SDA are both sensor for the I2C connector. Now, let's take a look into closer look into the breadboard to understand how it's connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. As we can see right here, our breadboard have few pins. We have the VCC that is connected to 5V right here, and we have the GND right here. We have two pins, one is VCC and one is GND. The red cable is VCC, while the black cable is GND. On the other side, we have SDA and SCL, which are right here. This is very easy to recognize and very easy to follow. Now, let's put our breadboard back, and now, once we understand how to connect it to our Raspberry Pi, I think it's the time that we will go into our IDE and try to program the sensor properly using the Python programming language. Hey guys, so now we are back into the Raspberry Pi IDE. As we can see, we have a live video right here of the BMP sensor, the Raspberry Pi and the breadboard, as well as the console right here. Now, as we are in the console, let's find the software that we need to modify and take a look at inside the code. The software name is Barometer. Now, instead of using the Python software to execute it, let's use the Nano software in order to modify it. After we run the Nano command, we can see the code inside. Now, let's walk line by line to understand how does it actually work. Now, first we import the Adafruit BMP BMP085 library, and also we import the TAN library. In the setup, the only thing we need to do is to pre that the Barometer begins, so let us know that the sensor begins initializing. In the loop, we run while true, which means the software will keep running forever until we quit the script. Then we initialize the sensor, we initialize the temperature and pressure by using read temperature and read pressure functions, and then we print it to the console the temperature and the pressure from the, the variables that previously we initialized right here. Now, after we have that, we have another function called destroy. Destroy does nothing, basically we pass, we continue, and we quit the software. Now, in the main software, we set up, which means we print barometer begins, we loop the software right here, and if we detect keyboard interrupt, we just quit the software and do nothing. Now, when we understand how the software works, let's try to execute it using the Python command. The command is python31 barometer.py. Let's execute it, and as we can see, the data is show up immediately. First, we can see the temperature, which is currently 21 Celsius and 80. And then we see the pressure, which is right here. Now, let's take a look if I try to press maybe on the sensor. If I pick up the sensor right here and try to press on the sensor top, it should change the temperature. As you can see, the temperature changed right away to 27 or degree up. And once I leave the sensor alone, it will balance back to the room temperature as it was before. It might take some time, but eventually it will go there.